What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the cold. Yes, you probably can see at the top of my screen um, the sunroof in my car is icy. Okay, so uh, everything is kind of iced out. Uh, we are enjoying uh, winter time a little bit uh, where I'm located, but this is not a crypto winter. Not a crypto winner. We're going to be talking XRP in this video because I want to give you the XRP news today. So please just look past the fact that I'm in my car talking because we got a lot of important stuff to get into. And I'll give you guys kind of my thoughts and what I'm doing because I am making a play today. Um, kind of have this inc inclination to do so. So I'll share with you guys what that is a little bit later in this video. If you're new to the channel, awesome. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We talk crypto every single day right here on the same spot, same time. All my favorite coins uh, that I am involved with. Uh, if you're watching me, it's probably because you have similar kind of mindsets, okay? Um, I'll never tell you to buy or sell a crypto, but today I am making a play, all right? Um, I'm adding to my XRP position. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. Uh, before we do, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, like I said, and please remember, not financial advice. Let's get into the news, all right? Um, and here's where we're going to pull up the X page because the big storyline um, that we had with XRP is the fact that Ripple announced a delay in launching the RLUSD stablecoin uh, due to regulatory hurdles within the NYDFS. Um, that was the kind of announcement that we've had, right? Um, and, and right now, XRP, if we look into the charts, okay, and um, that's where you're going to see them down 6.4%. Um, for me and my money, uh, this could be an opportunity, uh, one last hurrah before things get nuts. Now, uh, this is where we're looking to the trading indicator that I do use to trade crypto. Um, also, if you do want to trade with me, uh, I do have a link for BYD5 down below in the description. You get 10% cash back up to $10,000 by signing up spot and futures exchanges uh, within uh, that platform. One of my favorite exchanges to, to use uh, in the market. Uh, make sure you check it out and do what's best for you financially, uh, not financial advice, but sign up with BidFi down below uh, in that link for 10% cash back. Who doesn't like an extra 10% uh, on their money to buy more XRP or whatever crypto that you currently are trading or cryptos, I should say. But here's where we flash momentum up once again. Now I look this, I know you guys are like, oh, these are 10 minute candles. So we'll switch to the one hour. I was looking for, I was swing trading a little bit uh, uh, and I did not refresh my screen. Uh, but right now we're still in momentum down uh, within the fact that the XRP price is trading around uh, $2.38. Now, what's important to understand is this is the level that we had back in the late part of December where all of these gains right up here, and I'm gonna show this to you right here, right? All this on top of this red line, that's all basically a bonus. Um, that's not something where, that is your profit zone, right? If you are trading XRP, not financial advice, but that is your profit taking zone, okay? Uh, you can be long in a crypto and still take profits. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, but as we spread this out and we zoom out a little bit, uh, you can see what I'm talking about. XRP is now in this little tight consolidation pattern where we do have some moving averages crossing over one another. And this would give way, in my opinion, we are very close to getting that next leg up. And that's why I'm making a play on XRP today. I am going to add some XRP um, at these levels. If we continue at this dip, right, uh, a lot of people, there's a lot of FOMO traders in the game, right? And what I mean by that is XRP 7% down. So a lot of people are probably selling. Uh, I'm going to join the sell wall. I'm going to join this red candle. Uh, I'm going to become red. It's not how I do things. Um, I think pretty much anything on this line right here uh, is going to be where you are going to be able to Trade XRP. Um, I think that right now we have an opportunity. Anything, anything in between this, right? Um, this red line, this blue line. I'll draw two. So that parallel channel. Anything right here in this in this zone. I think where I'm drawing this sine wave. That is kind of where I look to make a buy. Um, if we do continue on this trend, I think this is where I'm going to get in, in some XRP. I'm reading some crazy stuff on X where people are shorting XRP. Um, but as we look further into the headlines, uh, I will show show you guys this meme. It's kind of funny here coming out of Venus stars. We thought XRP is a stable coin for years. Look at the irony. They launched RLUSD. Um, well, XRP sending. Um, I, I think that XRP truly in some form or fashion and not financial advice, but this could be a crypto that we look back on like Bitcoin. You got to remember something. We never had the bull cycle with XRP. We were struggling. We were doing our paperwork in the courthouse, battling the SEC. And now uh, with what Abbott's coming in and doing uh, and where XRP, Ripple, 
what they're trying to do, what Trump may do for U.S.-based and backed companies in the cryptocurrency sector in terms of tax breaks, so on and so forth, making America great again, bolstering America as a stronghold for cryptocurrency. This is all things that lead up to a very, very strong argument that XRP could go into territory where we could be, you know, passing generational wealth to our generations uh, down down the uh, family tree, right? This could be something where we are so early, and I and and I work with a lot of rich people in my in my day job, day to day kind of life, I, I guess I would say, and I come across a, a lot of varying backgrounds, right? And it just I keep I keep my mouth shut, right? I don't tell people what I do. Uh, I don't tell people I don't talk about my crypto trades uh, outside of YouTube uh, and on X and within my community. But I I, I wanted to share with you guys. <clears throat> go ask around, right? Go ask. Go go probe your circles, play play dumb, uh, and just go ask your friends, your family. I can guarantee you one thing: a lot of people do not have any kind of exposure to cryptocurrency. It's crazy. XRP with what they're looking to do. To make a 60-minute transaction take four seconds, um, it's just absolutely insane that nobody sees the writing on the wall. And as we get XRP on a dip, I will be adding the XRP today. I'm going to load up a little bit. Um, I think the stablecoin launch uh, that we have coming uh, is potentially a buy the rumor, sell the news. But uh, I'm going to rip it. I'm going to rip it. I'm going to try to get involved and uh, add to this position because I think that we could make a very easy swing here as XRP looks to trade um, above $2.50. Uh, the Quest, the $3, the XRP ETF, the RLUSD, a lot of bullish um, arguments can be made. And I think it's worth a play uh, for me and my money. You guys do what you want. I'm never going to tell you to buy or sell a crypto. However, I am going to kind of get into the argument that if Ripple does launch a stablecoin and the fact that they had the delay. And now, why did they have the delay? Okay. The hype is building. Uh, why they had the delay um, is, is essentially they had a little bit of a hang up, like I talked to you guys, um, within kind of the NYDFS, uh, some supervision. Um, you know, they're trying to get it up to the highest regulatory standards. I appreciate that. I respect that. They're making the effort. And I think this is something where you have to understand uh, they're not going to launch on December 5th. Okay. It's not launching, but this kind of a. I guess you would say a negative, we can turn into a positive because I think that it's going to allow for XRP's price to get at more of an advantage, okay? Uh, so that's kind of where I'm looking at it uh, in terms of that, okay? Uh, simply put, I just think that little bit of a dip uh, is going to allow us to basically get XRP on sale to await this RLUSD launch because it is going to happen, okay? And I think along the way, it's important to understand we could see price fluctuations, all right? And this dip um, is something that we're going to take. Uh, obviously, if you see these prices, they're not always indicative of where we are at on the market. Uh, this publication was done uh, over 24 hours ago. So XRP was at $2.56. And that's what I'm talking about. So uh, for me and my money, uh, I am going to make a play on XRP because if we do get back to 250, that's going to be easy, easy profit for me. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, the fear and greed still sitting at 85. Bitcoin dominance at 55. XRP has fallen to the fourth spot in market cap, still above Solana. Um, and that's where I kind of look for XRP. Uh, we're just waiting, right? Uh, so I think that's where we're going to get some positive news. RLUSD will launch. And I think that when it does, uh, we're going to be ready. We're going to have our bags loaded up. And I am going to back this, maybe buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event. So take a quick little move on RLUSD. Who knows? Maybe that vaults us to $3. That's been the con conversation. Can RLUSD get us to $3? Um, I think it's just a great entry for me. Uh, so I'm going to be buying XRP today. I wanted to share that with you guys. Appreciate you all watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe right down below if you haven't already done so. Um, also, give me a follow on X. I do post things on there every single day. And we'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers.